Do you know how the British managed to break into India and then break India? How they managed to suck the life of what was one of the most industrialized, richest places on earth? They looked at the existing discomfort between religions and then they exploited it. They weaponized the jealousy and the thirst for powers between princely kingdoms. They pitted raw material producers against industrialists. And they won. And in the process, they killed millions of people and turned Great Britain into the center of industrialization in the world. The people who want you to crack apart are the same people who are unconcerned on whether it's a Democrat or a Republican winning the election. They're weaponizing our own identities, our pain, our suffering, our fear against us. So don't let it work. Keep the dialogue open. Be compassionate. Try to understand that people on both sides of the aisle will respond emotionally. Because both sides have been deprived of being given even the most basic of humanity. So either you find a way to understand this without shouting, without memes, without patronizing, without understanding that the people who are potentially saying things that are out of pocket are seeing their families being blown up. And no, this is not me discounting that civil rights are on the ballot. This is me saying that if you want someone to do something, you are nice and polite and you ask. And if you take a painful decision that is generated because of your context, potentially be prepared to extend some grace and to hear some stuff that you won't like. Because I can guarantee that when the smoke clears, whoever is there, we are gonna need each other.